Hey guys, what's going on? We have another Alliance War video today, and today we're going to be facing off against MMXIV. So they've got a pretty tough defense, and we're going to be starting on path 9. My first fight here um, is going to be a rank 4 Darkhawk. Um, I was kind of surprised it was a rank 4, and the global is Bulwark. So this is the Aegis Heavy node. With Corvus, we're going to go ahead and do two heavy attacks. That'll remove the indestructible charges. And now we're kind of waiting out the shield mode. So now we can start attacking like normal. And I'm going to be hitting into the block quite a bit um, to do damage um, while not triggering Bulwark. And also to maintain space. So here we're going to go ahead and try to bait out specials. Through a special one. And I'm going to go ahead and tri trigger the backup recovery now. And then we will go ahead and drop our special two, which of course uh, triggers the indestructible. But we still get the power from our uh, cosmic boost for that. So we're just going to go ahead and um, wait for him to get out of his shield mode and finish the fight. So that one went pretty smoothly. And now we're going to be moving along to... Um, the Aegis Intercept node. So usually I use Ghost for this fight, but I had a theory and I wasn't sure because I do usually use Ghost um, that maybe it would work to intercept his heavy attack. I read the node, it just said um, intercepting an attack. So I was going to go ahead and try to bait out a special here, or I'm sorry, a heavy attack. And um, you can see there that no charge got removed. So at that point I was just kind of like, okay, so I'm going to have to actually um, intercept this guy. So right now I'm just building space. I'm not really watching my charges. Uh, baiting out specials. Um, the special one will give me spacing to go in for an intercept. Like usually he'll kind of wait and then dash into you afterwards. Um, so it didn't work there, and it looks like I got one off there, baiting out another special one. And intercepting is just like, I got another one off there. Um, what I like to do is back up to the edge of my screen, and uh, when he lets off of his block, I let off of my block, so we kind of start... Uh, going in towards each other and then as soon as that happens I I dash in and it usually works out so um, I didn't really think that should count as a special or I'm sorry an intercept but it did so we got that charge off and now we can finally start doing damage We're like a minute and a half in and you can see I wasn't really paying attention to my charges here but I only have five left so I decided to trigger the backup recovery, and for some reason, it triggered the regeneration instead of the power gain. Um, I'm not sure why that happened. So I went ahead and threw my special three. And at this point, I still wasn't super aware of how many charges I had left. So I go in, I have one charge. Bait out the special one. Looking for an opening. And here I go in, try to drop my special two to end it, and it doesn't crit. And I didn't even realize at first that it was because of my charges. So now he's got these armors. And I've got about 30 seconds left in the fight. So I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to hit him once. Um, in case he gets an armor up buff. 
and then back off. So we've gotten lucky. He hasn't gotten any armor. And we did finish the fight. But I was getting a little bit nervous that I was going to time out there. So we're going to be moving on to our next fight now. Um, we did scout this and saw um, that it was going to be a rank 5 wasp. So I decided to try to pick up a charge for Corvus here. Even though I didn't bring po Proxima, um, I still just wanted the charge. So you'll see I'm having kind of a hard time getting a parry off here. So I'm just trying to back her up a little. So we got our first parry off there. And our first heavy. Oh, and this is another Aegis heavy node. She evaded there. Um, which is fine. So now we got our second parry off, our second heavy attack, and now we can start doing damage. And Wasp is a, um, a metal defender, so she's affected by the Bulwark node. So I was kind of waiting out the indestructible timer, but again, I wasn't super worried about it. Um, you know, she has such a low health pool that there was no real fear of timing out. So we drop our special two, that finished the fight. And now we are up to our third, our third charge with Corvus. So now we're gonna be able to start doing some real damage. Um, the middle mini bosses were assigned to someone else. So we are going to move over to path three for section two. And our first fight is gonna be a Medusa. So, um, because you can parry Medusa, um, I don't feel like this is great placement. Um, anytime that you can parry a Medusa, it, you know, she's really not a difficult defender. So we're just going to be parrying, doing our full combos. Um, yeah, so, um, I'll just let this fight play out for you, and we can catch up afterwards. So yeah, that fight's pretty much over. Drop a special two and yeah. And um yeah, I mean it's no I think anyone that you can parry reliably on that node um, and just lay into is not gonna give you much trouble. So the next fight we have here is going to be a rank five Black Widow. The original Black Widow. Um, so the only thing to really be cognizant of here for me, um, cause she has SIG 200, um, is going to be the fact that I'm, I'm aware of the fact that I'm not going to be able to land a parry on her. So because of that, um, and because I don't have true strike with Corvus, I just decide to go in with Ghost and just do the one hit combos and block if I need to. I'm not super worried about it. So, and even though Black Widow's ability says that she evades 3% of the time, I think um, anyone who's ever fought her before knows that it is significantly more than that. It feels more like, you know, maybe 20% of the time. So she's not metal either, so we're just going to go ahead and drop a special 2 on her. The backup recovery kicked in. We're just going to bait out her special 1. Hit her a couple more times, and that's going to be it. Fight's over. So no big deal. And um, after this one, I did lose a fight. I fought that um, debuff immune uh, power lock one Thor Ragnarok with Corvus. Um, so our last fight of this war is going to be against this rank 5 wasp. And this is going to be the debuff immune and dismay mini. And I'm going to be using ghost for it. So this is just going to be just like, um, just like when we usually fight this node. Uh, one hit combos. Again, wasp is metal, so, you know, 
This is my last fight. I'm not super worried about taking block damage or anything like that. Um, can hit her a couple more times if she, um, if her timer's going so she can't evade you. But, um, the main thing with Wasp is just not wanting to get cornered because she will get really aggressive, start throwing heavy attacks. Uh, her specials hurt really bad on the block. So there we did trigger, um, our indestru her indestructible again. So we're going to bait out the special one, hit her once, drop our special two, and that almost finishes it. Um, but it did give us a special three. So we're going to go ahead and use this, and the fight's over. So no big deal there. Like I said, that is the end of my war, and we won. So nice job to both sides, um, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.